Hey guys and welcome back to the Tuesday stream. We are of course in playing a little bit of Minecraft from my server, the Spawn City at the moment. Of course we've been keeping this one running for at least four years now and it's starting to look at a bit around Spawn. Uh, we have definitely got some good things going down here but I've spent most of my day today making a small little waterway. You can see these little boys in the water now I had to jump over the top of Wise's place and of course when I start streaming the load of the chunks starts to take forever. Uh, these are uh, actually going along and pointing out little areas of interest. You can see that Land Striders uh, industrial district here. This is a nice little iron farm. It produces a fair amount. Same, I, I came along and fixed the the flying machines that got stuck in here um, and also took out the auto start mechanism. For some reason when he left he uh, he had put an auto start on this end over here so when someone flew past the flying machine started going and, and then just stopped. So I came along and fixed that. Hey Wick, how's it going? Uh, this is a, a boy to point out where Lake Pizzazz is. Let's go over. Lake, Lake Pizzazz is my home. Uh, my, mine and, uh, and Mr. Lines and then we've got Mad Friends Frank in the doorway. I really wish the frames, were, uh, the uh, the chunks were loading up a little bit faster. I currently have it set to 104 chunks, so we, we should be able to see a great deal more than we currently do. I might have to just do a little fly around the uh, the periphery here. Uh, th this, as I say, right here. This is the water of Lake Pizzazz. Uh, I've gone around. And I've done some some nice little things around here. Like down the bottom, we've got sort of weird tadpole things. They they look like Falco from NeverEnding Story. Hey Wise, how you doing buddy? Uh, we've got a bunch of those across the bottom of the uh, of the lake lighting the area up. I don't have my swim cap on. I was doing uh, some thumbnail work. Uh, here is my trident farm. This this is the bad boy that is able to produce all the tridents that I need. And here we got beautiful tridents being made. Um, I do need to stop and get some food at some point. Th this over here is my actual home. For those that do not know, uh, I call it the Close Encounters Farm. Uh, and hopefully, when it loads in, we'll be able to see. Uh, the storyline is that this person used to live in the city, uh, and he came out to the shores of Lake Pizzazz to farm Chorus. Unfortunately, when he decided that he wanted to do some flowers as well, the, uh, the aliens showed up and landed down. Of course, with the aliens, do I have my a spy glass here? With aliens come to the watchers from a distance, uh, and of course the military show up with a robot to uh, to see if they can help out, uh, and the hippies over here be like, please take me with you. Uh, and the whole idea is they're here because of my military bunker in the background here. We're not going. We're not going down. That's that. There's a lot down there. There's like a lot, lot down there. Uh, Wise is good, still getting back to food. That, that's all good. I mean, one of the reasons why I thought we might today, if I come over this way, uh, look, see, look, the chunks are loaded. They're just not... They're just not loading in front of me for some reason. I can only assume the poor, poor server is being pushed to its limits at the moment. I do know that the... Um, the, the, the rollback mechanism that we've got... Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Can, can we load up? Can we load up some frames, uh, some chunks, please? Uh, I do know that the roll-up mechanism that we've got, something that keeps track of every single interaction that happens in the game so that we can undo it if need be. If ne'er-do-wells show up. We've had people turn up with buckets of lava and buckets of water deciding that it was much, much funnier to cover the entire spawn in uh, cobble. Thankfully, this is not the first server that I have hosted, so uh, I, I knew about these types of things before and uh, I totally... Uh, totally was prepared. <sighs> There's the side of my base. Should we just have a have a look? You can see all the caves that I've cleared out, and that's that's my trident farm there. I had to keep all of this space clear to prevent the spawns, and that's that's why they spawn in the lake as opposed to anywhere else. Uh, the trident with the rain going is one of the better pieces of um, transport out there. Uh, so if you carry on north all the way up, uh, nearly up to Wise's new new place uh, you come across this ice this this is the ice that I've been looking for uh, you would actually come in on this coast if you were to be coming in on a boat uh, and over this what is that over there did you see I, th I think that's a, a schematic I installed like Matica today not because I've actually got any um, 
uh, any schematics to look at. But actually, so I could do this. So I could walk up to my ender chest, press shift, and it shows me what's inside my, my ender, uh, in my shulker boxes, which is a ridiculously helpful little, um, I'm also going to sleep there. Um, you fix your noisy space bar, doesn't work unless it's, okay, all right, that, that's good, that's, good. all right. Uh, okay, so, to, today's job, to the, uh, well, it, it's mini HUD, uh, it's mini HUD, and it, it does a whole bunch of other things, like, ooh, so much other stuff, um, but that, that's, that's almost entirely what I use it for, uh, and the, the shape renderer, you know, the thing that says, hey, this is 128 blocks away from that specific point. Um, so I can know where the spawns are, uh, or where people can and cannot spawn. Anyway, as I was saying, here's today's project. Um, I, I feel like we can have a raceway. This is locked now. This map is like, this is how it used to be. And then when we're done, we're going to have this showing what, what, it, what it is like. Um, today, I feel like we're going to fill in most of the course. Like, look, look, at, look at these up here. Like, this... This is painful to try and go around. Do I have a boat? I'm sure I've got a boat somewhere. Let's uh, let's pull that out. Yep, got, always got a boat somewhere. Let's go and tour the course so that we can see exactly what it is we're doing. I'm going to start over here where I imagined the start line to be. Uh, big bit of water that needs filling in. Uh, that I, I believe we can just grab a bunch of ice. And we're using swift sneak, bum, 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 bum. just fill it, fill it all in like this, and it should, it should be fine. I don't think it's gonna melt because of the biome or anything like that. Uh, and at, at some point in the future, probably not today, because just trying to fill in all these bits is gonna take long enough. Uh, but some point in the future, we're gonna come back with pack ice and and uh, other wonders, uh, pack ice, blue ice, some maybe some blue concrete for bits to slow people down, uh, th things like that, and put down a whole bunch of track markings. We might even get to that today because you know th there's there are things in play. Uh, misaligned at the moment is marks as AS AFK. That's because I logged her in. And uh, sat her at my ice factory. I say ice factory. It's it's just a big, big puddle of water uh, where we let a whole bunch of ice form there. Anyway, uh, we were about to go on a little trek. Let's go here. It's much nicer to watch from behind. And I also feel like it's nicer to have my stuff off. Uh, because, you know, like we're, we're here to look at this beautiful purple face, surely. Uh, I'm very good at the boats, by the way. You you will you will very obviously witness the prowess of my ice boats here. Uh, so the first thing we got to do is fill in bits like this, like that. That is horrific, and somehow let the players know that we don't want them to go over this way. We don't want them going that way. We want to try and go around and down this little section over here. Um, a similar situation on the right. We don't want them to go to the right. We don't want them to go to the left. We want to want them to go down this little section here this looks like it wants you to turn early don't turn early turn down here uh this is where we're gonna have a lot of work to be done like look at all of the uh the water patches on the side here now i know we we could just get good at the boating uh and the boating uh and hopefully keep away from the water but i, I feel like especially that inside edge there could be manicured a little bit nicer. This chicane, uh, again, I feel like it's a full chicane, right? We, we should definitely fill it in. Oh, I wonder I wonder who left a boat there, especially an acacia boat. Who who would use such a thing? Uh, so around here, we've got some nice little... I, I feel like we can use these waters as an actual obstacle. I, I'm down for these. What I'm not so much about is the magma. That is everywhere around. Uh, if we, if we could keep the lava to a minimum, we'll definitely clean clean these up. I might even just fly up and and boat uh, and bucket the the lava. I, I just don't feel like we need it. Uh, second big job here. We got to fill in uh, this little tunnel with ice on the floor. Probably blast it open a little bit more, uh, but definitely want to fill in. Ooh, can I do this in this point of view? There we go. Um, uh, if it weren't so flat, it reminds me of when you went to the Spa F1. Less of the lava, though. Uh, that that map, I've got. I don't. I don't have a flint and steel on me. I need to burn it. I need to burn it. Uh, so this way again, we need to fill in this patch in front of us because there is no way that we're going to be able to get a boat through here without. Uh, mark this as the route between these, and then I think. 
this this is where it gets a little free form, right? Ah, uh, this is not where I want it to be. Uh, this is where it gets a little free form because if I use this, oh, I don't, I don't have my elytra on. Uh, uh, there we go. I'm good. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm out. I'm good at the uh, the inventory. On honestly, uh, so if we fly up to the top here, we come out of this little section over here of the tunnel, come down and fly and uh, boat. Sorry, forwards this way. Yeah, th this little broken up bit wants to be filled in. And then we want to kind of keep it in a nice smooth arc round here. Because just over this way, that's a lap. Okay, so that that should be relatively easy. Uh, if people want to come in and join in with the ice placement, that would be ideal. But I'm, I'm just going to gonna get to, to placing here. Um... Let's grab this. Of course, wise burned out. I, I know, man. I know. Um, I think. I think maybe you just need something that's not your own, your own brain power, right? There's um, a cer certain other person in my life who was feeling a uh, certain burnout with, with Minecraft. It wasn't until I was like, "Well, I've got this bunch of stuff to do. Can you come help me with this?" That uh, they were like, "Oh, actually." So one of the uh, one of the big problems with Minecraft is it, it demands a lot from you as the player to kind of come up with your own uh, your own objectives and intrinsic rewards and stuff, and that that's hard. That's very very hard. Um, bam, bam, bam. I I don't know what's what at what point we're going to call this the side like here. Is that good enough? Uh, there's also a bunch of other resource I need. Things such like snow. Snow is going to be um, a bit of a troublesome one to get together. I need to also figure out some, some quicker things. Um, quicker ways of placing blocks. I never quite did get... You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I don't think that's going to be ideal. What I should have done is set up a playlist on copyright sounds so that we could have some nice smooth drum and bass. But, uh, of course, I always forget about these things. Uh, do you want to build a snowman? I, I, I kind of do. Uh, I also want to build a, uh, a walrus. I've done a penguin elsewhere. There's been uh, fun times out there. Um out unfortunately it is literally the whole other side of the world um from us it, it's a good three four thousand blocks away uh, see you later wise see you later man it's good to see you good to see you now when we're placing these blocks here what i want to be thinking about is over on this side we're going to be having um what i want to call the grandstand right somewhere for people to come in sit down um i mean as much as sitting down happens in minecraft we have beds we have boats we have mine carts we can we can make things happen i was thinking like do we want to have like trellising going back and then you have like beds for seating um, but I, I was also then, well, you know, how much do we want to actually have here? Let's uh, go down to the bottom because I dropped some ice. Uh, so have you been hearing about this Nova that might be going off uh, somewhere near the constellation of Herculaneum? Uh, it's a, a beautiful little star system out there that um, will at some point glow as bright as the, the North Star, the, the Pole Star. Uh, which I, I do hasten to point out isn't actually that bright. Everyone's like, "Oh, the pole star, the but the, the brightest one." It's like, no, 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 no. That, that's Arcturus, the brightest one. Uh, ca catches me out every time over towards the west. I'm like, "Oh, look, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a really bright one. I can, I can see it next to the lampshade. It, uh, not lampshade, street lamp. It must be a planet. No, no, it's not. Uh, it's, it's kind of my quick and dirty test to know whether I'm looking at a planet or not. Uh, if I stand next to a street light and I can still see it, it's probably, and that is that is a big probably because I just told you about one of the failure points. Uh, probably a planet. Um, it also works for Saturn, which is quite cool uh, because Saturn is kind of dim. If you're if you're not aware of what you're looking at, uh, you would mistake it for just you know a star far away. Um, it was uh, quite quite a little moment. Am I gonna? 
I think I'm gonna dig some some stone here. Uh, there was quite a moment. Uh, ooh, how long ago? It must have been a couple of years ago now. May maybe maybe a little bit longer. Uh, where Saturn and Jupiter come together in the sky. Now, of course, they are like h hundreds of kilometers. Uh, no, hundreds of millions of kilometers. Let's get the words right. Um, apart from each other, so it's not like they actually came together and touched. Uh, but you know, from our vantage point in the sky, we had one over there and one over there, and like we we watched them come together and then over the course of the time they, they, they've started spreading apart and uh, saturn's like 90 degrees right like you, you're looking at jupiter you've got to look over there to look at saturn now um i presume it like because saturn is saturn's like twice the distance out to the sun as jupiter is um i can't remember the exact distance but it, it's it's quite the distance um, so I assume that Jupiter has raced away from Saturn from our point of view, um, because orbits further out are slower. Oh. This is going to take a while, isn't it? This this is going to be fun. Bad sight for you, so you measure the state of your eyes by the star magnitude, but more familiar with Orion. Orion is by far, um, you know, one of, one of the first I recommend people try to get get to know obviously the plow around here is a big one um but you know the plow is a what we call a pseudo constellation it's not it's not really according to the Interno international astronomers association it's not really actually a proper constellation it's um just just one that we 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 say yeah all right then so so many people know it that it'd be silly not to use it um okay well that that was a day and i nearly got that whole, whole field in uh, oh, a stray over here. If we're lucky, we'll get... Uh, oh, yeah, it's shooting at me. I went and hid down behind the um, the dirt, completely on purpose as well. It wasn't just the speed that carried through. Ah, oh, there's too many people online. Lol. Uh, ZZZ, question mark. Uh, he's got no bed. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Uh, this will be fine. I'll just keep moving. Uh, he thought I was somewhere else, though. Was that interesting? Oh. It should have worked. Oh, it's because Miss is online as well. I was like, it should have worked with three people. Uh, um, that's fine. That's fine. Where's my food? Cool. Uh, so strays drop slowness arrows. Oh. When yeah, not not every time, but enough. Uh, I I don't rely on them, but I do like them. Hello, how are you guys doing? Nice. Nice. At some point we're going to have to update the map. some point. some point. Um. <laughs> Alright. We'll, 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 we'll leave the cavalry to it. Ooh, big, big slides. Big slides. wonder where they came in from. Going to be, going to be somewhere close. <laughs> uh, oh, I've already got, already got the ice. Already got the ice. What was I talking about? Saturn being like miles away, um, and, and like that—that's true. If if we we're gonna call it any distance, it would definitely be several miles. Um, ah, the, and also the plow. Uh, it, it's amazing, like how many. Uh, there's there's a proper word for them, and I can't. It's like starisms or something like that, but it's it, that's not the, the the proper term. Um, the the the. The little patterns that people have used forever, but aren't really uh, a constellation. So, like, the plough is part of the bear. Uh, it makes up the body and the back of the bear. I personally have never, ever been able to see the bear shape. Uh, every time I look at it... So, like, you look at Cassiopeia and you go, all right, maybe if I was, like, thirsty desert man that's never been... Uh, never, never really seen a woman. I could imagine the zigzag there being a lady, sort of sat sat on the floor or something like that. Um, and uh, look at Orion. And you go, oh yeah, shoulders, hips. I I kind of get it. Even Pisces with the two stars. I'm like, well, at least it's two things, and you're calling it two things like that. That's that's cool. Uh, but the bear, just I've never seen it. it I think the problem is I don't look. L a large enough portion of the sky um but surely surely you want a constellation to just take up the little bit of your vision Ooh, they're off 
Um, because like, what 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 is the the natural human field of view? It's not 180 degrees. I know that much. Uh, I'm, I'm now trying to estimate it. Hello. Uh, I'm now trying to estimate it just by looking in front of me, being like, mm, from from there to there. Uh, that's it. Uh, 1980s Clash of the Titans film got me into the constellations. Oh, okay. I didn't didn't know that. Didn't know that. Uh, I'm, I'm now gonna have to go and, and watch this. Um. If you guys, because we want them to come in like this way, right? Um, could you fill this crack in? Uh, th this this bit over here is definitely the next, like, yeah, the next bit. I think. Let me let me fly the beautiful deep ocean purple water here, though. Wait, what? What? What am I in? What? Uh, it's just frozen ocean. Uh, okay. Now I need to be like 115 minus 28. Let's go with that. It's gonna, it's gonna be close enough. Gonna be close enough. Because this is definitely the bit. This frozen ocean area that is the least well laid out. Uh, that bit and this bit over here definitely need to get on this bit here um, because they are un unpassable at the moment. Unpassable. Hello. Just like this whole bit. There's 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 so much here. Awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get back to the start line, and then, I, like, the, literally, the moment I fill this bit in, I'm gonna come join you again, because um, it's by far better with a group of people. Uh, let's try and get this going. So yeah, I, w I want to have a, a grandstand up there, but I would also like to have a whole bunch of little uh, scenes, dioramas, things you'd like to see around the track perhaps um some some advertisement for certain services on the uh on the server like i recently got into the idea of build, building billboards around the the city um and, and it's only one that i've done for a cafe halfway up the big tower uh but i feel like it's a it's a great idea oh, my basement uh so if we could i mean we don't have a great deal of fictitious brands on the server, which is, which is crazy. I thought that would actually happen relatively uh, easily, but we just know it as like for I mean, Forest Findings is definitely maybe Forest can sponsor a uh, you call the advert banner bridges things that you have got the lights on. I I just realized I ran face first into a term I have no idea what like, it. Advertisement bridge? Yeah, maybe maybe. Uh better version of Clash of Titans is not the new rubbish state. I mean, yeah, that the, there's always gonna be a new well, there's not always gonna be a new version. What what are some films out there that have just been left alone? Um the only one that springs to mind, definitely make an advert or um the only one that really springs to mind, I think it's like Willow, you know, stuff that was so bad in the 80s that they just kind of left it alone. Um, over that, or Jim Henson held on to the uh, the rights too tightly. You could see that. Oh, I could see that. I wonder who, like, puppeteers must get the copyright for their puppets, right? Uh, it's not a, uh, it wasn't done by a human, so they don't get copyright thing. Like, sure, surely that's, that, 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 that can't be a thing. Like, there's no way that a show like The Muppets exists if someone can't claim the copyright from it. I suppose that even cartoons are, the more I think about it, the more that monkey ruling seems a bit like rubbish to me. Uh, because there's so many things <laughs> not not finalized by humans like you know the, the pixar do, do pixar really own any of their stuff because surely the computer actually finished it all um at, at what point will we be paying the animation computer or ai or whatever you know um get more ice there's 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 a bunch of ice around um in fact there is a whole 
old trailer, as I say, it's a, it's a while away. I need to go and try and pick it all up at some point. Uh, it's like two and a half shulker boxes when you first dig it. Um, that said, just about to finish a shulker box myself. Uh, all of this should be usable, apart from this last chest. This this chest here, there's the random stuff, but all of these should be icing. Uh, and then, when that runs out, whoop, uh, we've got like this, oh no, this, this isn't the trailing. There's, oh yeah, places like this, where we can blatantly whoop, steal from the edge. And you just got to be careful about things like this because there's no water flow. But that should now fix it, yeah. Um, and hopefully this would then, yeah, freeze back over afterwards. Uh, that that That's a little more intense than I would ideally like to be doing. Um, it, just just because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bit much to sit here and uh, do that. Uh, no, oh yeah. So th this Nova, um, the, the Hercules. I don't, I don't, unfortunately, have a picture of where Hercules is. It's specifically um, in the Crown constellation, but the the, the one that most people will recognise will be Hercules, uh, because I I was like, what Crown constellation? <laughs> um, so there is. Oh, how far away? Ten thousand, sixty thousand light years out. Anyway, tens of thousands of light years away, um, there there were there used to be two stars. They were, they were burning away. Uh, one had about the mass of the sun, and another one has about two or three times the mass of the sun. Um, and the lighter one burnt through its fuel. No, the heavier one burnt through its fuel faster because they're pressing down more. More more fuel is being pushed in. Pressed in the Temperature gets higher, if you will. It's not quite right, but yeah, we'll say the temperature gets higher. Um, and that means more fusion happens, burns through its fuel quicker, and ends up a white dwarf. Um, hello! A white dwarf is just an absolutely squished down lump of carbon. Um, it, it, it's like the, the dead core of the sun. So you know the sun uh, will be uh, fusing... Uh, two hydrogens together to make a helium, uh, and then the heliums come together. Hello, uh, hi. Uh, the heliums then come together uh, in what's called the CNO cycle because it's carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. Uh, but mostly, it makes carbon. Again, huge simplification. Um, so when when it when it dies. I broke it with his hand. Uh, so when it dies, you will get this 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 core of stuff left over. Now it it's hot. It's it's like the temperature of the inside of the sun. You know it, that's that's pretty hot. Um, ice. There we go. Uh, and then its next door neighbor does something that that the old star did as well. It goes through something called a uh, a red giant phase. Um, so like the the core is the core, right? This this is this was doing hydrogen, and then it, it, it ran out and it got squished down until the hydrogen uh, till the helium could be uh, <laughs> till the helium could be um, fusing. Uh, I've only got one bed, I'm afraid. Oh, was this for me? Thank you. Uh, once that happens, it actually gets hot enough around. For all the hydrogen that's left outside to also ignite through fusion, and it makes the star like really big and puffy, like like huge, makes it huge. But it's got this white dwarf friend, right, right next door, and the atmosphere has just got big and fluffy. So the white dwarf starts siphoning off little bits of gas, and after about forty years, in the case of this star that we're talking about, enough gas gets laid down on top of it that it also starts to ignite f uh, hydrogen fusion. And the whole thing, well, the whole outer layer, m most of the time, the whole thing just, just erupts in explosion. Um, the hydrogen... Yeah, I can sleep, I can sleep. Uh, the, the hydrogen ignites the, the core, and the whole thing gets, uh, gets uh, thermonuclear, 
um, Runaway. It, it is raided. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, well, but this one's special. This is one of one of four in the galaxy, I think I read, that just the outside gets detonated in a literal thermonuclear explosion. The whole the whole hydrogen shell around the outside starts fusing. And um, uh, that will glow for... I mean, for your eyes, for a couple of days. You, you can see it for a couple of days. Uh, glowing, again, as, as bright as, the, as the, the North Star, which I remind you is not the, the brightest star in the sky. I feel like that is always a point I need to hammer home. In, in the same way that I need to hammer home that orbits are sideways, not upwards. You know, if you, ju if you just go up... You know, uh, that button, bleh, You come crashing back down. You see there was a bit of an arc to it there. Uh, if you go sideways fast enough, the arc is the same size as the planet. And you go round and round and round. And round. Think, things that need to be saved. Uh, so, that, like, those, those types of, um, like, two stars interacting there are incredibly common. Uh, it turns out that... Uh, so, they, they like to say half the stars are in a binary system, but I never get to ask people, all right, so there's two stars in a binary system. Does that mean there's two not in a binary system, or does that mean that there is... One binary system and one not binary. What do, what do we mean by half here? Uh, and I've, uh, yeah, I've not I've not got around to solving that particular issue. I don't know if it's half the stars are in a binary system or if half the systems are binary system. But anyway, there's a lot out there that sh that have um, should we say siblings? Um, because like when 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 a ball of gas collapses down to make a star, one of the most probable things that's going to happen is it's going to fragment um frag fragment uh into lots of smaller little balls and if if they they are close enough together um <laughs> which way is up i mean at the moment thankfully we we can tell it's that way it's against down <laughs> but when when we leave and go to space up becomes meaningless right it, i mean it's the top of your head uh but does it feel like up at that point, or does it feel like you're climbing up a ladder? You know, you know when you're you're looking like this. Is this how space feels all the time? You're like, wait, is this the floor? No, it's not the floor. You know, <laughs> I could see that being the way. I could see that being the way. Like the International Space Station was built with an orientation. There is definitely an up and down to it. They they point the down towards the planet, which makes you know makes a lot of sense if you ask me. But that's it. It makes a lot of sense to me, a person who's used to living on the Earth. At what point do we, as humanity, need a new reference frame because more people are born off planet than on? Like there there will be a point, almost definitely, because you you can. Like, think about how much planet you need to make some livable space. All right, you, you need you need a lot. You you need hundreds of thousands of tons. I can't remember the exact mass of the of Earth, but it, it's it's something like ten to the twenty kilo. Wait, that might be the Sun. Ten to the twenty kilos. Uh, but like you know, it's it's a big number. It's a big number. A ten with twenty zeros afterwards. It's either, it's either the Sun or the planet. I can't remember. Um, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. I can't. I can't keep saying that and not knowing. Uh, mass of uh, taking bets now. Oh, oh, it was even more than I thought. Uh, so you start with a five. Have they buried me under the, under ice? Am I, am I in trouble? No. Uh, so you start with a five, and then you put twenty four zeros afterwards, and that's how heavy the Earth is in kilograms. That's in kilograms. Um. I don't know what the conversion of kilograms to stone is, but I don't. I, <laughs> Earth is a big stone. Uh, we'll do, we'll just go with it like that. Um, uh, twenty four zeros. I can't really comprehend what twenty four zeros worth of anything looks like. Like I work with these numbers quite often. Low. You, you need to swim under and come up this bit. Oh, wrong way. There, there we go. There we go. <laughs> And that's a lesson for real ice swimming there. Um, oh, crossbow. 
Oh, we, we've got these guys. Oh, okay. Well, well, we'll let we'll let the guards take care of them. Uh, and and so ten to the twenty-four zeros. And we've only we've barely got space for seven billion people, eight billion people. I mean, even ten or twenty billion people, whatever number you want to believe is the carrying capacity of the of the Earth. That's still a tiny number. And if you like ground the entire uh, entire planet up and turned it all into space stations. Not that I'm saying we should do this with Earth. Uh, I'm saying we should do it with Mercury. Uh, but if we, if we did that, we'd end up with a lot of space stations. And, and say there's like 12, 12 astronauts per space station. That's a lot. Now, obviously, we need Earth to live at the moment. We haven't haven't a hundred percent solved the space station issue. Right? We, we're constantly taking more water up there. Uh, I mean, this is probably because we're like pulling down. Uh, what's uh, pulling down a lot of waste products. Uh, so the, the the space station is not a completely closed system, but like at some point when you start building a big enough space station, it will just naturally become a closed system. We'd we'd, we'd have a good good uh, plumbing system. The power of twenty to the power of twenty four is where you accept commas out in the real. Yeah 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 totally. I I, I don't need commas for a thousand. But if I don't know what the number is called, you know, I can go up to billions and trillions by using, like, a name for the number, right? Um, but beyond a trillion, I don't, yeah, I can't, I don't know what it is beyond a trillion. Gazillion? Are we fi oh, do we finally reach the gazillion mark? Like, that, that would be hilarious. Um... Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm now just going to walk this way and see what the next bit is we need to fill in. Yeah, this is this is good. We probably don't want to fill this one. Well, look, say we fill in the left-hand side of this. If I just draw like a diagonal line this way. Oh, Swift Sneak is so good. We probably want to fill this in. And then fill this in, and then that will give us the path through, right? Is that is that? It feels good to me. Oh, shrubbery left and joined. That was that was fast. That was fast. Um, I I kind of need to draw a line for the other because again, I don't feel like we want to fill all of this in. I feel like we want to fill it in, may, maybe up to to this point here. We just kind of draw a line again cross here nice ice i like it and we want to kind of yeah 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 that that feels good mm. do we want to fill into there this is questions you can always tell what I'm thinking pretty hard because I get a little bit quiet. Uh, I th I think that this line should be fine though. This line. Um, yeah, I wonder. Like the naming of numbers must follow a fairly standard convention because we all know like Millie is one, Billy is two, Trill is, is so. There's quad, quad quadrillion. Is that is that a thing? Yeah, quadrillion must be a thing. Quintillion. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure I've heard of quintillion as well. Uh, these these are words <laughs> words that maybe existed before I said them. Whoa, I'm falling. <laughs> Get spleefed. Ah, uh, we 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 should. You heard it on Vsauce. All right. Yeah, and of course. Vsauce is there. He's the he's the one who knows. Or at least I trust his research. Um, he definitely seems like someone who wants to do well. I'm gonna go get a shulker of ice. I'll be back. Pop that flighting away. Ah, uh, beautiful little bit. We do actually need to fill this in, don't we? Looking at it. Uh, we're try trying to delineate the sides of the path is going to be interesting. Whoop. Just in time, we got three eye. Beautiful. All right, I, I will. I will be back for this this refill. 
feel like I should have brought more shulkers with me. That's for making boys. I was a little bit worried that when I started the stream, no one was going to turn up. So I've got I've got a little bit of a kit for doing other things. Um, in that case, actually, put that there. Don't need that. Oh, as uh, one of my favourite builders needs to say, got a shriek. Oh no, not yet. I'm just going to stand here, right-clicking this. There we go. Um, we'll see if we we can start a little cascade. Sleeping through the night. We do have, as I say, a whole ice truck. Let, let me just uh, RGTP. So up, uh, RG is the region guard. There, uh, once you've set that up, there's an ability to set up a teleport point inside that. Uh, and all the way out here, I've got like this huge. Here's my beautiful girlfriend. She does empty-headed as always. <laughs> um, look at this. Look at this place. This is this is one of my favorite builds. Look at this place. That's amazing. Anyway, uh, so we we can we can come along and rip this up, but oh, it takes an entire pick, an entire pick. No no word of a lie. Uh, raceway forest. If you're listening, right here. TP uh, RG TP raceway drops you right right in this spot here. Um, I am hungry got nothing. I should have prepared a little bit more food. Uh, turns out I am bad at the foods. Oh, we got an O. Bam. Nice. If you need to... <laughs> where, where are you stuck? Hello. You, you look good to me. Hello, we fine? Oh, you meant lost. Ah, uh, fair, fair. Uh, would you like me to show you the start or the bit we're working on? I mean, we're we're working this way, but the start is over that way. Let's let's go to the start then. Pop, pop. So jumping on ice a little bit easier than. Oh, there's been. A little bit easier than trying to walk. Yeah, he's good. Good. All right, great. <coughs> Excuse me. So, like, we've already done huge amounts here. Like, if I just take that off. Yeah, there we go. Already filling it in. It's nice. Good work. Great work. Ah, we got a door. So th this one on the on the oak, very much live. This one has been locked with glass panes. You can pull it out, but it's literally got the word locked on it. Um, so I'd like to keep this one. Well, I mean, we don't have to update it as we're going, but by the end of the stream, I would like to get this super, super update. Um, we're doing good already. Like that, that bit there, that's all, that's already gone. And we're working on this bit and that bit next. And then, then we need, I mean, that bit's already there. Let's just, let's just quickly. Yeah, look at it. Ready, you can see the difference. Okay, I wasn't quite as extreme on the on the map as I was hoping it would be, but that's, that's still cool. Uh, question for you, a universal constant that is linked to our sun, and what? What, with lots of clock changes, are we now in sync with time zero? Okay, so the... So UCT, I think, is what you're saying there, is the universal time coordinate or something like that. Uh, plenty, plenty of ice over here. I've also left a, a shulker box of ice back back yonder. Um, so the universal time is sort of a theoretical time. If you imagine that the Earth was a ball um, and the sun was like consistent in its travel uh, across the sky, 
Uh, it is kind of the, the theoretical time that we would be there. That's why when big earthquakes or whatever happen, we need to uh, to reset because it actually sets the, the, the rotation time off just a little bit. I think that's what you mean. Um, and that's that's what we're trying to trying to be as theoretically close to as possible because uh, there's 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 this thing called sidereal day um which is the time it takes for the oh 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 is sidereal the full 360 oh man now I need to look that up I, I can't I can't say these things and not be 100% true Let's... Okay, yeah, sidereal versus solar. Okay, that that's good. Um, so the sidereal day is the day is the time it would take for twenty four hours. Uh, for sorry, the time it would take for the Earth to make a full rotation, um, which is not twenty four hours because the the sun we've we've moved around the orbit a bit. If the sun is over there, all right, we've gone, we've turned, and we're looking there, but we've moved around the orbit, so we need to look just a little bit further. So the solar day. Is a little bit longer than a full rotation, um, and it's that solar day is the one we're tracking. You know, to to over exaggerate, if I turn round once, but we've gone this far around our orbit in the time it took me to rotate, then this is this is the the extra bit we need. Um, yeah, it, trying to keep track of time. Oh, it's the biggest it's the biggest problem we've kind of faced as humanity because like one like what is time? We've made it up. It's not really a thing. Um it's it's we're just trying to keep track of changes, right? You know, like the how how long it takes for the earth to go round is one of the changes. Uh, and we like to split it up into weird weird little numbers. Let's get back to the the thing. I was reading a book about eclipses and the different types of names for it. If the full sh shadow or not uh, and UTC was mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the 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 full shadow, because like you've probably noticed on a sunny day, looking down, um, that you've got like a dark bit in the middle of your shadow, and then uh, light bits on the side that aren't quite as dark as the middle. So the middle bit is called the umbra, and the bit around the outside is called the prenumbra, and the moon does that as well. Apart from it's a circle one. Um, so if you get if you're in the umbra when it goes across the surface of the planet that's when you get full totality like the, the full you can't see anything um of the sun well you get to see the corona and a lot of cool stuff but like that's that only happens in the umbra uh the prenumbra is what most people have seen when they think of an eclipse um Got a big eclipse coming up for America. Uh, it's, it's a big shame that America is really bad at stating for Americans uh, when when they're they're getting excited about stuff. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Look at these. These are good paths. These are good paths. We've done well. Uh, what what did I do with my icebox? Here it is. Good. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm totally not forgetting stuff and leaving it lying around. Uh, hey, FSBWV, how are you doing? I'm sure you, do, do, do your acronyms change occasionally. Uh, I've been ages since you managed to watch these. Always fun to see Minecraft. We can't have KSP. I, I'm hoping KSP2 becomes a lot more stable at some point soon and becomes fun to have a career mode in uh, rather than you, you throw a whole load of effort into a build and then it just falls apart. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Um, we're making a, a small boat race. I say a small boat race. I mean, at no point do we do we load it all at once. Um, but there is a uh, a part that goes through an open ocean here, as as I'm sure you can see. Wait, let's uh, let's get a good go. Um, so we've got this way sneaking out here. We want this to come round. And this way, and that's kind of the open ocean section. But as you can see, it's it's quite patchy. It's quite patchy. So uh, I want I want this to be. I I don't want the fact that we've fallen in water to decide the race. You know, I think that would be a poor victory. 
So if we can just make it so that it's down to how often you bounce off the wall, <laughs> I think might be a better one to, to go for. Uh, we've also been talking about uh, the Eclipse. Are oh, you seeing... Uh, you're trying to... Oh, I don't know what Mazalath, Mazalan, yes, yes, American town. Uh, and and good. I like. I've um, I've been reading a lot of blogs from people who have seen uh, both partial and uh, like totality, hundred percent eclipses, uh, and they're 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 all like it's worth the extra mile. It's worth the extra mile if you can make it to go look for a full totality. Um, eclipse. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen a full total eclipse. There was one when we were younger, um, and that was pretty impressive. But I'm not sure if it was totality. Uh, right in the path. Good, good, good. This is what we like to see. Or what we like to see. I mean, ideally, you know, if you want, if you want to risk, we had a partial one. Uh, if if you want to risk your camera and take some photos for the Discord, I would be forever grateful. Um, oh, drop down here. Because, of course, we, we put uh, uh, Europorans over here. I can't, can't afford to travel out and find, and see what's going on. Uh, I'm, you know what? I've not had any tea the whole time I've been, been streaming here. I, I have got quite the dry throat and the caffeine withdrawals. Yeah, I've got to start shaking soon. It's, it's not the winner. Well, whilst we get in bed, let's do the thing. Oh wow, fourth one you've been travelling for. Two annulars and this is your second full eclipse. Wow. I I, I got it on gotta be honest, a little bit jelly. A little bit jelly. Um Maybe maybe at some point we'll we'll book a cruise that goes under the path of an eclipse. That 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 would be fun. I don't I don't know how well I'd deal with a cruise. Being locked in a small ship with only a few things. Because so, like I'm not gonna be able to afford the full Disney experience, right? Yeah. <laughs> So that whatever cruise I do go on, it's not it's not going to be like, oh hey. Uh, luckily, you have a wife that indulges your nerdery. That's that's great. That's great. I, I mean, I, it, I I very much also have a girlfriend that would help me indulge in such things. I, I just don't have the money to <laughs> travel that far abroad. I don't know when our next. I I know that there's a is it twenty twenty seven? There's an African one. Uh, and I've been talking about getting out to Morocco for a while, just because it's like one of the easy, Morocco? yeah, yeah, uh, one of the easiest places to you know cross Africa off as like my continents that I've been to. Um, that that would be that would be very handy. Lost. <laughs> uh... So, do we leave the? I, I, I don't know whether someone's. No, there would there would be surely. I'm not sure whether to leave these or here. Let me let me make a full sentence out of those three sentences that I just tried to string out there. These here look like they are natural. I'm not I'm not seeing anything that makes me feel like they got ripped down by a player. Um, so I'm wondering whether they stay as obstacles or do we just flatten it and have a nice little. Little driveway here. Hard to cool. Hard to cool. We'll, get, we'll, we'll leave the, the natural obstacles for now. Uh, stay for now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though that's, that's a lot of packed ice there. Oh, hello! Uh, hey! How are you doing? They can be removed later, yeah. Bam. Bam. Like, look at look at this, this scenery down here. Is this blue ice? Is this blue ice? Uh, blue ice, it is okay. That 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 might be something that I do do is come around underneath the water here and grab like like this whole thing here is a blue ice patch. Uh, because blue ice, oh, oh, blue ice is expensive. So like a, a whole line, if this was all sixty fours, it would give me one stack of this stuff packed ice. All, all of that. So a whole a whole row of nine would give me one stack packed ice. Then a whole row of that would give me one stack of blue ice. Oh, it's so expensive. But it is the fastest medium to travel on in the game. Uh, if you've got a boat and you're going on blue ice, that's faster than, than Elytra. Elytra? I don't know how people want to uh, to pronounce it. I've been, I've been hearing 
that we've been actually pronouncing Elytra wrong this whole time. Because uh, if you go and check out the word for uh, the bug covering, uh, so like on beetles, they've got a, um, a a hard cover that covers their wings, and that's the oh I don't know the electron or something like that. It sounded it sounded a lot like electron to me when they when they were, and I was like, is it an elect an ele electra? Is it an electra? Is that is that how we're supposed to be pronouncing it? Because this is the plural. This this word here that Minecraft has given us is the plural form. Um, there we go. That's, that's, that's a little... I mean, is it a fact? I'm not sure if I can call it a fact for the day because I, I, I have not independently verified this statement that I have made, which probably means I shouldn't be making it. But, uh, Wikipedia has a good page for the up, upcoming eclipses. The eclipse book had their mapped out to 2050. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. The thing, like, as as an astrophysicist, we can predict them thousands of years in the future. I I, I can't remember the time where it starts to get a little shaky on the prediction, but it, it's it's a number big enough that nobody really cares about their life. You know, it, it's beyond everybody's lifetime. Uh, nice. Not heard this music for years. It, it's beautiful, right? Nostalgic. Nostalgic. It's, um, it, it's kind of a shame that C18 and Microsoft... Microsoft? Microsoft can't come to a better decision about the music. So... C418? Is that his name? I can't, I can't remember the exact name, the name of the composer. Uh, but he managed to keep all of the rights to the music when he was making it, which is like... Oh, <laughs> Wait, what have I done here? <laughs> this, this is a thing? <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Um, which is one of the reasons why Microsoft is getting other composers involved, uh, which does mean that things like... Um, so some of the other Minecraft music is coming out as very g generic to my mind. Like it was one of the things that really, really struck home with Minecraft, quite how how different the music was. Um, and and now some of the music that uh, the other component there's two there's two components, Lena Rain and someone else. I can't remember the other guy's name. Um, I, I mean, it's very good game music. But I, I, it wasn't quite what I enjoyed. I <laughs> uh, didn't miss it. I haven't played music on in probably 10 years. So th this was one of the things... Um, Forrest, when was it that I said to you? It must have been two years ago or something. Where I was like, have you played with the music on recently? It's all different. Uh, because there is a lot. Uh, you can fight through it for two, yeah. Uh, play the music on probably yeah. people like it. Oh, it gets on your nerves. Ah, oh, well, good. Wow. <laughs> I mean, fact, honestly, most of the music that I could possibly put on would get on most people's nerves. Uh, so that's that's the thing. We could we could we could go find some pretty extreme dance music if you want. Well, the good good thing about most of the dance music that I listen to is the uh, the people were so like underprepared for the music industry that uh, it's all just like open domain and stuff uh, which is kind of fun um there's a lot of lot of artists i follow that literally have on their their page it's like this is good for streaming and then even then sometimes it's not sometimes they'll be using samples and it's like you didn't didn't know what you were doing did you um but that that that's very rarely happened, and I'm always willing to take the risk if it's especially if it's a stream like this where we're just kind of like chilling out, placing ice blocks. Um, yeah. Uh, so what what type of music is what what is everybody's alternative music choice? What what's the one that when the family are like, oh, why don't you put some music on? You're like, oh, that's no, no, all right. You wouldn't like it. Uh, I've I've got a, I've got quite quite the list if you want to hear it, but uh, I don't I don't think that's really the way. Uh, I must warn you, we'll go to music's too loud and it's not. Oh, he will go if the music's too. Yeah, no, it's alright, right, mate. It's all right. That I I know not to put on the tunes that I want to put on. That's fine. ACDC, a choice, choice. Uh, I know I know plenty of people who do. Not there's not not my type of thing. Uh, but uh, that that's fine. Um, I say that we we were. 
at download last year, and so someone's trying to convince me to go to download again this year. It's just so expensive. <laughs> Staring at the box. Uh, Weird Al, great choice. Great choice. I feel like Weird Al is um, becoming more, and rightfully so, becoming more and more mainstream. Um, oh, that's it. That's it. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, French core and jump, jump style. Good choices. Good choices. Uh, I, I'm particularly fond of French core. Um, it's like. Bom, 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 Nah, that's too fast. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, with with funny samples and stuff throughout. Uh, the new, you know, I still haven't seen the film. Uh, a bunch of my friends have, and they're all like, "You should watch it." And I'm like, "I know I should watch it, but I just I don't." The time. What what is time? Time is merely an illusion, <laughs> an illusion that I just don't have enough of. I do like getting into the what is time debates because as much as you know scientifically it, it's very hard to call it anything other than just this thing we've made up to to keep keep track of numbers right um we all we all also very much know that time exists we we all know that we follow this this clock and uh, uh, uh. it's uh it's, it's almost like money right in fact i think it's i think money's even more honest in not being real um you you did a what is time reply oh, oh uh, uh, uh. Uh, tears stone hand Oh no, I, don't, I might, I might have to, might have to get you to restate it, mate. Sorry, I, I, I tried scrolling up, but I'm not sure which one it was. Um, and it, it, do you think we'll ever have like a galactic universal time, or will we always be following sort of local conventions? You know, I, I, I'd like to bring up Mars. Mars is 24 and a half hours in day length, right? Uh, and if, if you read a bunch of scientific, uh, science fiction, not scientific, science fiction authors, um, oh, uh, they're, they're all like, oh yeah, you know, you have your standard day and then you party for half hour at the end of the day. It's, it's the, the, the missing, the missing half hour. Uh, and we as humans seem to get on with it. And, and honestly, I'd love to have that little half hour at the end of the day where you're just like, yeah, it's my time now. It's not, it's not, <laughs> hacks. Uh, it's not, um, what I'm looking for here. It's like nobody's tie, right? Uh, that that little that little half hour. It's just just extra. Um, we don't have labels for it, and it's so inconvenient. We just won't label it, and we'll, we'll just we'll just let people have it for free. Like first off, ain't nobody gonna let us have time for free. Um, I've always been intrigued by the six twenty eight hour day week idea. Oh, well, um, I don't know that one specifically. Uh, but yeah, that that's I I I I know some friends, and I have also myself in the past um, sort of experimented with different sleep times and stuff like that. Uh, I myself, uh, unless I'm doing 36 hour days, which I have done, like don't get me wrong, um, uh, tends to drift about two hours a day. Um, if if I'm cut off from all circadian rhythms. You know, which I'm sure we've all done in our twenties, just failed to open any any curtains and lived by your own own pattern. And this way, ah, I fell in the water. <laughs> hey, this this is going really well. We get we get a fair amount done, fair amount done. Uh, I'm wondering whether we want. I feel like the snow layers might be the choice for edging. Um, that's what, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, because, like, this, this, like, this, this needs to be run, taken out here, but if we had these snow layers as, as the, the, the side, oh, 
I believe once you hit the snow, it kind of stops you. Um, unfortunately, this is not a great place to test because the, the, the sand is not good. Um, I don't... Who comes out without a shovel on them? One day, I'll be prepared. I, I've, I've got one in my box, but that's a bit of effort. Um, check XKCD 320. Uh, three, yeah, 320. Alright, I'll give that a go. Oh yeah, we could use the silk touch shovels. We definitely need to set up um, some little snowmen somewhere uh, to make ice layers like this. Oh look, one, two, three. It's a four. It's a four. It's a four. If you find a five, let me know. The natural fours are everywhere. They can they can technically go infinite, um, but I, I've I've never found taller than a four on this server. Um, I found a few fours. I found quite a few fours. Uh, I guess we go this way and block the rest of it. Let's bring the box. Because you can you can see the point we need to get to is this this little section here. This is this is where we're trying to head. So everything between here and and you guys over there. Aha. <laughs> Uh, look look at look at this here. Look, look how terrible that is. Minecraft sort your game out, you know? That's there's the, some bad like the these these are like pre nineties like gaming glitches. Uh do you ever play with mods? Uh sugarcane can uh on sand with a redstone clock is insane. Uh, so we used to I, I do occasionally play with mods, but uh, not not for Oh, 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 it could be measured in bits a decade, like, uh, not for at least half a decade. <laughs> um, it's, been, it's been a while since I've played some mods. There, and, and don't get me wrong, there are some really good mods out there. Um, but we also had uh, some weird sort of forced update glitch a little while ago that enabled us to put, um, to, to force any, any plant to grow super quick if you zero tick something underneath it. Uh, and that, woo, that that was powerful. People were using that to uh, to power their entire base for a little bit. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, I'm not sure. Uh, it got patched out. Uh, I think it's fortunately. It was a bit game breaking. It was a bit game breaking. Like we're, we're currently having a conversation. Oh, I I am recurrently having a conversation on Reddit. Uh, about um, elytra and mending and stuff like that, and how how it in a way breaks all the other forms of transport. Now I don't think a oh, snad is not a typo. It's crafted with sand and essentially zero to its growth with red stuff. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah, that's they 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 replaced the functionality of the glitch with a mod, which like great, I'm, I'm all about it, and and that that is. Yeah, you know, one of the good things about modded Minecraft is you you can just go to town, do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about how it really interacts with too much because you're you you know, you're having your own own experience. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's a, the wording I want to say. Um, well, I'm glad that Minecraft, as can be seen with like the wind charge and the mace. Um, and uh, the and the and the wolf update uh, and stuff stuff like that. Even the combat, um, even the trial chambers to a degree, uh, is starting to lean away from the preserve the old feelings at all costs. Um, I I feel like they were kind of hindering the game a little bit by holding back too much, uh, and it really felt like they didn't want to add anything. For a while, you know, you know, the bees were nice, but they weren't exactly game changing. Um, updating the Nether was needed, but again, it it wasn't actually game changing. It was just nice to have somewhere else to go see in the Nether, right? It still was practically the same game. Um, but now with the trial chambers, not so much anymore. Um, that there's like an actual another bit to the game now. 
Uh, same with raids when they brought them in. It was a shame that they put them in such a bad way that they immediately were broken by the players. Um, uh, do do have you heard about the uh, the changes to the the raid mechanisms? Uh, how you pick up a potion from the pillagers now, uh, and you drink the potion. And there's a chance to cancel it even after you drink the potion. Um, I, like very blatantly trying to break raid farms, which I'm kind of down for. Like that, that that's fine. It trivializes so uh, uh, um, the trading mechanic, which uh, yes and no. I feel like it has the fact that people need to rely on the the raid farms show a weakness in the gaming system, right? Um, it's the same same with the Elytra making all the other transports absolutely meaningless. Uh, it, it shows the weakness. It, like, what, why are minecarts some of the most intensive systems to put together worse than Blue Ice or Elytra? What, why is that a thing? Surely putting down rail, m making train stations, Sorting out huge, huge server-wide or worldwide infrastructure, however you want to look at it, shouldn't be... Oh, yay, this is better. Am I, am I wrong there? Am I wrong in that thought process? Hi. An interesting pattern. Intentional? Yeah, I thought I thought that might be what you were going for, actually. I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know how we're going to replicate it across like these huge bits of water here. I'm down. I've got zigzags. <laughs> Best I could do is zigzags. <laughs> Something like this? I don't know. Make, make, make some lightning bolts out of ice, right? Um... Not, but in small areas, it's cool. Yeah, it, I, I think this is very cool. Oh, I'm in. I, fe I fell in the water. Let's come up this way. Um, I feel like they tried to do that with the archaeology and Trowia and stuff, but it was underwear. Ah! Uh, I feel like the archaeology stuff is setting up well for future updates when the when we're going to see different places to go and get pots from but it's it's all just about trying to give us decorated pots which are cool but they're not they're not game changing right they they're good good little decorational things clues in the name right um Could go and show you my my decorated pot collection. <laughs> what what have I done here? There's a little zipper. I'm I'm willing to accept this. I'm willing to accept this. Uh, okay. Trying to figure out where we can and can't put little bit. Like, could, is this safe? Can you can you Tetris piece it? I feel like it should be. Oh, let's have a look. Nice. Yeah, all in all, I'm still at this point not sure how I ooh, how I feel about the archaeology. It was it was given such hype about how we we're gonna make our own stories and and do this and that and like it's good to have some decoration. Uh, this this is really cool. This is really cool. I like this. Yeah, it's good to have decoration for your base and stuff, but uh, uh, yeah, I feel like it kind of under-delivered on its promises. Okay, all right, that that that's good. So is that is that the whole of this? Do we want to fill? Yeah, I was about to say, do we want to fill this bit in? 
Maybe draw another line diagonally across there. Or do we want to make him go around? Uh, we could make him go around. A little shimmy. Yeah, yeah, let's make him go around. I'm, I'm down for making him go around. Tiny thing. Oh, what? Like, um, uh, 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 yeah, you know, I hear you. I hear you. Alter, no money. Hey, Alter, how's it going, man? I assume you're watching. Oh, hello, mate. Yeah, there you are. Um, sorry, my, my eyes were not on chat for a little. Oh, I don't know about that. Do we change the angle halfway? Uh, so. At <laughs> that, ooh, that's tough. A little bit extra on the end there. Maybe another little bit there. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. Uh, let me write down some coordinates for you, mate. One, two, uh, one, two, seven, uh, 63, minus 3,100. All right, good luck. Good luck. Oh, that is risk reward, isn't it? E even even pointing myself in the right direction like this. Oh, it need it needs to be thinner. It needs to be thinner. <laughs> Splash. Move my bike back. Uh, it need to be. I, I, you know what? I, I'm not sure if it needs to be thick. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it for now. Uh, there should. Oh, there, there, I didn't leave any boats at spawn. I was about to say there should be boats at spawn, but I didn't. Didn't actually leave any. Uh, this, this was me trying to figure out where we were going to come out. Um. Let me see if I can RG info raceway. What have I set about members add? Uh no, no VC, I'm sorry man. I have done that in the past and it's ended up with people trying to talk over the top of me, which I, I always find hilarious. Uh alter no money. Uh, here, you're now a member of that type. Uh, do you know? uh put a, put a, put a slash. <laughs> RGTP Raceway. Try, try that. You should be a member of the groups. And hopefully, you should be appearing here. Hello? <laughs> no perms. Uh, all right. Well, here, let me let me TP you to me. Hello. Oh, you're not going to have a silk touch pick, are you? Let you god yourself. It shouldn't. How did you do that out of interest? I'll, I'll let you do that. Uh, you can. Uh, here's ice. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, so there's not much I could do for you right now either. Um, I've got, I've only got like bare minerals myself. Uh, your enter chest says gold. I mean, that that makes sense. <laughs> that does make sense. Anyway, if if you want to come find us, we're we're this way down the ice track. Literally, all we got is ice. And we are on the other side. 
up. So we're right at the top there at the moment. Is Twitchy's pal? Yes, that that is indeed. Hey, Decipher, good to see you, man. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, that's just ice. Uh, I'm going to jump in the boat. Alter, if you'd like a lift, I am literally rolling right now. You've got 13 seconds. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if 13 is a good number. But we're, we're going to go. Uh, we are in the middle of laying ice to make this, this trackway um, navigable. It wasn't so great when we arrived here. This whole patch here was nothing but water. Uh, we're making our way round this way. We've got this nice little weird broken patch. Um, and then... Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then this is the tunnel we're working on right now. Um, also, if you just want to, like, slam down ice behind me... Uh, we just we just need to make this like traversable, right? Just need to be able to make it back and forth. Now we're gonna. No. <laughs> if if you if you do break, leave one up there, just leave it. We'll we'll break it later. That's no problem. Now what might be the problem is the torches. Because, of course, ice melts. Uh, you need ice. Uh, I got you ice. Oh. No worries. I don't know where this snow came from. Yeah, this this is this is gonna get interesting. I'm not sure how we're gonna light this place up. Um, if anybody knows the melting level of ice, that would be great. I think it's seven. Um, is there a Discord thing where you can set yourself as main speaker so you're louder? I the maybe, but that 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 also takes effort. You know, effort that I'm not gonna spend in the middle of stream. Um, Got, uh, got shrubbery here going for resources. Like nom 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 lapis. All about it. All about it. Uh, just a key bite. Right, I will bear that in, fu in mind for the future, mate. Okay, I should be able to... You know what? We, we're, we're nearly there. Just in, just in the small amount of time it's taken me to talk about that. Oh, it's, it's I, I need to find out. May, maybe I'll go look up the uh, the wiki page in a second. Um, I mean, obviously, we could solve all these issues by actually lining the floor with packed ice, but I I ain't that rich. Uh, I got I got to be honest. Like, I, I possibly he's the only other one who might be him right there. I'm possibly the richest on the server in terms of like raw resource. What I, what I can just suddenly lay my hands on. Um, if you're the poorest, I mean, it just it takes time. That that's literally all. It, like me and Forrest uh, have put the put the hours in. Wait, should we should we go and have a look? Uh, now, bear in mind, my statistics have reset at least three times during the server being open. Um, just every now and then an update will come along and reset my times here. Um, where, where is it? Time played. <laughs> 0 0.53 years. Okay. <laughs> I w I'm actually surprised. I wouldn't, uh, I, I would expect it to be more than a year. Um, it's just a server for me. pretty much, pretty much. Oh, well, their their server. Um, yeah, rounds is like Microsoft's. Well, Microsoft, Mo Yangs, however you want to call it. Um, server system. Um, 
but I think they only give you a render distance of like four. <laughs> so uh, I, li I like to be able to see a little bit more than that. Uh, oh, that's all my ice. Okay, great. That's good. Good. Um, no, enlighten me, my friend. Enlighten me. What what what's the render distance at the moment? Um, I know simulation distance has just been separated off, so there, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of um, savings to be made. Render distance is client side. I mean, it's still something that you do dictate on the server, or at least you know that's that's what the server.yml does. Um, thank you. That's what. That's exactly what I was looking for. Good timings. <laughs> uh, okay. The next thing I need to do is go and stop that lava. I suppose technically I should go and like save it, but I, I just don't think I want to. We could ooh, out. Yeah. No. I. I just don't think I want to. I'm just. I'm just gonna block it off. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the no. I don't. I don't even want to keep the keep the stone that is generated. We're, I'm just. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Like uh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Um. I will break. I'm gonna break that water there, and let it flow, and then we've got ourselves another another one of these bumper things that keeps the players in the middle. That's, that's how I'm thinking about the water flow at the moment. I think that works out fine. But man. I I, I know lava drain takes a while. I, I know. But it's still it's striking me as long. Um, yeah, that's fair, mate. That's fair. Are we, are we at two? Let me get them up. Can I sleep them? Ah, it turns out two is all we need. It's good, it's good. Yeah, nothing wrong with people talking, my friend. I'm all about it. Saves me having to come up with conversation topics all the time. Uh, though, I mean, I am I'm pretty good at pulling conversation topics um, out of thin air. I'm always willing to share my opinion on anything else, though. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to have an opinion, or maybe I made up that opinion about two seconds. Why would he do that? <laughs> Well, you're in trouble now. You need to follow the orange boys along the water. <laughs> that's uh, that. That's unfortunate. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Suddenly need to clear my throat. Been having pretty serious cough issues for the past sort of two weeks. As you know, if you've been here, you you will know. Uh, definitely been struggling. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh, it's making it's making more ice. That's that's cool. If it's making more, I'm I'm yeah, that's very cool. Uh, what I do want to do though uh, is jump myself up here. Yeah. This should be good, right? Yeah, that's how you get water flowing. Oh, I'm trapped under. Okay, that that's cool. That's cool. I don't know whether... Oh, mate. <laughs> Nothing makes me more sus. Nothing makes more sense. Yeah, I, I, it shouldn't work. If it was going to work anywhere, it would only work in like the seven blocks over there. I'm breaking stuff. Don't know. How I want to fill this in? Do I want to? Do I want to fill it all the way and then it floods out? Because it could be a, a good way of coming in, skipping off the water and going in through the the wall. Which def this definitely needs blasting out a little bit, right? We, we need to. 
<laughs> yeah, fill it. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Um, that one. Aha! The raft be float, uh, be sinking. Okay. That should just all update nicely. Ah, right, it's good flow. It's good flow. I would like to do the same thing here. I'm gonna burn myself. Ugh. Okay. Like that. Mostly like this area. I think it's a ni nice little little chasm to come like scooting through. Is that going to work? Uh, I'm mostly interested to see whether it's going to melt. I, I I literally yeah it does okay yeah look there it goes Ooh. which means we can't have super bright light sources like frog lights uh like right here on the side because that that was going to be one of my one of the questions I was going to have was like how do we light up the sides surely it would be good to light it up with with frog lights or whatever um. Yeah, I'd, I don't... Don't worry, we're getting rid of it. We're getting rid of it. I don't like the lava at all. Uh, lava is not something that belongs on a race course. Um... Yeah, I'm really bad at this. Uh, let's go through here. One of the problems with this is always just filling up with various materials from the surrounding. I've got, I've got sand I don't want to get rid of. I mean, I suppose the dirt, the, the, uh, the stone, the stone, that's the word I'm looking for, can uh, be got rid of. Uh, right, now I, want to, now I want to do this. <laughs> don't do it. I have to high ground. Uh, here. And then we just flow a little bit of water out. Oh no! <laughs> okay, yeah, this this looks like it'll work. Hey, colors, how's it going, Charles? Charles? Oh, no, I still don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm just going to take a guess every time. Uh, we are currently going around, and uh, let's let's fly, filling in a small little ice boat course. Uh, we have so far. I mean, we've gone round and plugged up some lava holes and replaced them with water. We've got a nice little tunnel to go through here. Oh, there's my boat. Let's get in the boat. Uh, we have gone through this ocean, and now the majority of this ocean was covered in, uh, in water. Would you believe water in the ocean? We've now gone through and made it icy so that we can ride our boats through here. Hopefully my, uh, my game will load up quick. Whoa, having to turn sharp and hard around that corner. Uh, and, and that's that's everything we've done. That, that is an hour and a half worth of um, ice, ice laying. Uh, we turned up. We started here. This was, this was... Oh, actually, we can go back and look at, look at the map. Uh, it's one of, one of the things that I did before I opened up, as well as, as, well as farming a bunch of spruce and ice and things like that. Uh, was to make two maps. Hello. Uh, th this map here is the original. This is this is how we found this area. You can see there's like big bits of water there and there and there. Uh, but now this one, uh, we, we need to update the top half of the map there and this map here. Uh, but mostly all of this is now solid ice up to, wait, where's my spyglass? Up to the, 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 uh, the tunnel that we've blasted our way through here. 
We got rid of that lava. We got rid of this lava. Now we need to try and make this navigable. Uh, that's that's the next part, is this section here, uh, which I should be able to go and find. Bye-bye, uh, Alter. Bye-bye. Nice. Um, like this? Yeah, like this. Okay. Uh, there's some uh, pumpkins, and they're pointing like you guys can see over my shoulder. There's some pumpkins there that we need to uh, take advantage of to fill in places like this so that we can... Ooh, 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 ooh. We can make a, a little snowy, snowy drift to slow us down uh, on the sides. Uh, we definitely need to... Like this bit right here needs filling in. Um, and then if I just race my way down here, I should find... Look, there, there is a boat. Here they are. Here they are. Hey. And this is the area we were just working on. Which should now... Oh, I like this. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I like this. Water hazards are real. Um, dumped a couple of pics from the past astronomical events that might be of interest. Oh, let me let me go and have a look at these. Found an old pic. Oh, you, what was this? Was this from the transit? Transit of Venus. Oh, yeah. The moment I saw the picture, I knew. I knew. Um... As viewed from Portland, okay, cool. Uh, cloudy one for the annular eclipse. I've got, I got a uh, similar picture for this actually. Uh, that they are really cool. Are they? Re if if you're not, if you're not a member of my Discord, you you really should be. We we talk about all sorts of crazy stuff. It's not just my gaming place, though it is mostly my gaming place. Uh, but we will quite happily discuss. Rocket launches, astronomical events coming up, um, uh, just just all sorts of random stuff. Uh, we, we have scared people away in the past for being too smart. Literally, his reason for leaving was we're too smart. And I'm like, mate, oh no, oh that that made me really sad. <laughs> it really did. I was like, oh mate, <laughs> you can just ask questions. It's fine. We're we're we're, we're, we're quite happy. Um. I, I I don't know, like how safe we want this to be. As, as I've said multiple times, hello. Uh, as I've said multiple times already, I don't want the fact that we fall off the water, uh, fall off the ice into the water, to be a deciding factor of any of the races. That that would be kind of bad, almost as bad as running out of food halfway through your build. That 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 would be kind of poor show. Uh, if I throw this and this away, and then I just... I'll, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. I need to... You need me to sleep? Let's do it. Let's sleep. Um, I've, I've got food in my ender chest. Unfortunately, I ran out of my fourth stack of ender chests. Um, why haven't I made... Uh, uh, I mean, I don't... The chicken's not, not really a good food. I say this as I'm on my way to go get my box of cod from my <laughs> from my thing. What what I actually need is a fully industrial. I can't believe the horrors I'm doing. Steak farm. Uh, that that that's what I actually need out. Uh, but some somewhere in wait we just saw it. Sure, I just saw that. There, there's a fish. There's a fish. Uh, if you ever need any cooked cod, oh man, do I have a lot of cooked cod. I uh, set up a guardian farm. It was one of the first first builds I did on the server. Uh, over, should we go see it? Should we go? I, 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 I'm sorry, forest and shrubbery. We're we're taking a small small little diversion. Uh, so here is my my creeper farm. Never gets used anywhere. I've got a witch farm. Uh, so the gunpowder just isn't needed. Uh, I am tempted to convert this into some some other type of farm. Um, the creepers spawn up here. There's cats that push them away. They die on the magma, and everything gets moved up. Uh, it it was my it was my um, source of rockets for a while, as you can tell by the sugarcane farm. Um, but that's just it's just not needed anymore. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'd like to turn it into a, a, a record farm. Um, over here we've got some maps that get made. But more importantly, but more importantly, here is uh, uh, another community build that we did uh, one stream. 
Uh, we got everybody to come along and help dig this area out. And then we built this huge... Ah, please don't hurt me. Ah, I'm going to die. Uh, please... <laughs> We built this huge cube of water, is what I'm trying to say. Um, it uses the old method of uh, having uh, air blocks in between each one. Nowadays, you just put portals everywhere, and you push all the all the, the guardians into, the, into the, the portals. But we seem to have a bit of a problem over there. But th here we go. This is all, all the guardians being spawned, uh, and they, they fall down through the tube of wonder. Um, and it used to be that it would the tube of wonder ended here, uh, and we, we, we you'd stand in here, the door would open, uh, and that's when this used to be bedrock, right? But but Minecraft did did a wondrous and gave us some some more space under the world, uh, and when that happened, I dropped them down to an auto kill pit, uh, and then it just spits out all their all their stuff. Um, and I can turn, you can see up there at the moment, there's no lava. Uh, and then if I, I think if I just do that, that should turn the lava on. No, I, tur I turned the lava off. The, the, you see that button right there? Um, that one right there. Um, that, that has toggled the lava state. Normally, you would stand on this. This, yeah, this flows the lava. Um, but the, the, this is one of those old, old farms that the function has changed over time. Um, and it, it's not. All this isn't really built for anymore. I had this, like, this splash damage... No, this one. Splash damage potion farm. Uh, it, it was cool. It, it really did the thing. Uh, and then uh, I made this thing over here. Uh, so this is for making... Uh, ooh, I don't want to do that. It's for making the sea lanterns. Each chest has a material in it. Okay, so the, the first bunch is prismarine shards, and then the next bunch is these crystals. Uh, and when you throw the switch, it fires them all in the right number of times to give you exact numbers for, for crafting here. Um, obviously, it's not meant for someone who's over overflowing in their inventory. Uh, but that should just be now an exact number of sea lanterns. So you never have extra left over. I'm just going to let them despawn now. Because I've got so many sea lanterns. Oh my gosh, so many. Uh, overflow protection, of course, on all of this. Um, and that's actual overflow protection going on there. Where, where are we firing? This one. Too much cod. We've decided that there's too much cod in the system. So it's all, all getting emptied out. Do you see that? Yeah, sea lanterns do unfortunately melt ice. Uh, here's some cut cod though. Mm, I'll take that. Thanks very much. Um, yeah, yeah. Th uh, there are unfortunately no no light sources that don't. I mean, I say that. Oh, look at the look at the render distance. Uh, I think maybe glow lichen might be low enough of light level that it doesn't melt. Uh, let me uh, Minecraft ice. Just you know why why I'm flying blind. Uh, go to the Minecraft wiki, not Minecraft fandom. Uh, let that load up. Uh, and somewhere here, it should tell me. Tell me biomes, crafting, boat, highway, speed. Okay, no, I can't I can't see at what light level it. Uh, transparent is uh, still not right. Yeah, no, I have, I have no, I, I, I can't figure out what light level turns it back into ice. Uh, into water, sorry. <laughs> I can I can speak. Can you tell we've been streaming for uh, an hour and fifty now? Close, close to anyway. So, um, ooh, I'm just going to quickly drop. There we go. Um, yeah, there was some filthy language in the Discord. I couldn't, couldn't let that stand. Uh, back over this way. Oh, I'm about to fly through here. Uh, it's amazing where you end up blindly flying. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Help me. Okay, I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, that should stay. That 100% needs to stay there. <laughs> Come around in a boat. <laughs> All right, where, where are we? What are we doing? <coughs> Clearing my throat. Drinking some of this. Ooh. 
Yeah, we know what's going down. Stuffs. There's plenty of stuffs. Stuff and tings. Way out of ice. I've still got, still got a little bit of ice. Still got a little bit of ice. Where, where do we get caught up on here? Hello. Um, I, th I think. No, oh, there was a bit, of, bit of lag as I took off there. That, that would not be, that would not be fun. Running. Oh, look, we got, we got little broken sides along here. <coughs> Homage to the river that was. I like it. Oh, look, there's, there's my ice. On my boat. Break this. Got this far. That that's cool. That's cool. Honestly, we have done a fair amount here. Much much more than I was kind of expecting. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, I am out of ice now. I'm gonna just throw the dirt away, the stone away. Yeah, very cool, very cool. I feel like the next thing I need to do is go and update the maps. Just as a, I full on need to clear my throat. Let me just um try and mute back here somewhere. Excuse me for that. <clears throat> the the C-Latin machine is amazing. Thank you very much. And hey, William Oliver, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I uh, got three stacks of ice. I mean, we got chess, chess, and chess of ice left. I mean, you feel free to continue, but unfortunately, I do believe time is starting to get the better of us. Uh, I'm, I'm also pretty good. I do have a little bit of a sore throat. Uh, I've been, I've been struggling for about two weeks now to stream properly, uh, and we're just starting to do. Uh, when did I start streaming? Well, back in the midst of tonight. No, no, it was about two hours ago. Um, give, give or take. Uh, oops. In fact, OBS tells me a hundred, uh, one hour forty-seven minutes ago. That's cool. Uh, so I want to, I want to update. Uh, let's say this one here. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take this. 2011-ish, yeah, I'll go with that. That sounds about right. I, I, lit I literally have no idea when I start. I suppose I could go to my channel and go for the oldest streams first and see see what that spits out. Um, you know what? I haven't done that. I haven't done that. When did I start my chat? I started my channel 2007, I think. Um, we were playing on a GTA San Andreas multiplayer map. Uh, and we were playing around with the old hovercraft that you used to be able to get. Uh, and we'd done a jump off of the mountain, Mount Chiliad, and flew all the way down to like the logging spot. Uh, and I was like, that's cool. I'm going to put that on a, on a channel. And I did. Um, and, you know, I, to I told the server about it and I got a couple of hundred views. And that was cool. Um, Hover, hover football. Uh, yeah, that, that was another. So we, we would have the hovercraft in the middle of an airport. Where are all my scaffold? Here we go. We, we would put it in the middle of the desert airfield and um, use. Um, Nina, you know what are they called? Fire trucks. There we go. <laughs> um, we would use fire trucks to push the hovercraft around um, and try, try and. You know, score goals by pushing it down to the end, whilst other people were trying to uh, stop us from doing that. It was good fun. It was it was a, it was a lot of fun. Okay, update the maps. Here we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me while I clear my throat. This is this is not how I like to spend my streams, to be honest. <coughs> I prefer not to be coughing if I can get away with it. Um, I don't think that's real. Oh, there we go. We got got some broken up scenery. Uh, going back this way a little bit. Is it is it this one as well? Yep. Okay. We, I think we may have got all of these filled in. Are there any extras in my inventory that I need to see? No. What one of the worst things about this game is trying to balance your maps. But it looks like we're good. 
Okay, let, let, let's head back to the board and try and put these all back in place. Well, I want to think uh, interested in custom graphic designs. You like 2D, 3D, man. Oh, okay. Um, if you could swing along to my to my Discord, we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. Because you know what? My banner hasn't been updated for my channel for, for some time. So... Um, I am a, a little bit extra when it comes to things like this. You know, I like to, to make ridiculous requests and see what you come up with. Um, the, the last one was me riding on a rocket with a, with a rainbow trail coming out the end. What, what is wrong with this? Why is the top left corner busted? Um, hello, and I got there. Hey, I see you in the Discord. Hello. Um, Yeah, uh, qu quick, help me. What, 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 what random brief should we give to this 3D artist to uh, make me a new banner? Uh, it's got to be something me and also ridiculous. <laughs> I turned, yeah, I turned myself into Nyan Cat. That yeah, totally. Uh, you know, that was big at the time as well. So yeah, that probably was actually part of the inspiration. Um. Okay, let's 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 see what we've done here. Oh, that was a bad landing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I landed badly. Uh, I think that one goes goes there. I need. I need what? Here's my here's my my scaffold. Yeah, well, definitely. I've definitely been playing too long, man. My my vocabulary is falling out my ears. Greyhead Minecraft Twitchy teaching a glass of young Cabola. Yeah, may, maybe maybe. Which one is that? that is actually that there that doesn't feel right i don't feel like that is in the right spot that one goes no that one goes further up oh no no i, I like cabola <laughs> put that there man what have we done here or what have i done bad at this I don't know. Put that one there. Yeah, that looks right. And then that one. There. Okay, that that's cool. That's cool. All right, this this is good. This is good. This let's compare and contrast here. Uh, let me let me just see the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. This is good. Uh, so we did come along here. So you can see that this patch of blue here, almost completely eaten. I think if I updated that map, it would actually be completely eaten. <laughs> Uh, we have made this whole bit, this whole bit, and this whole bit. Blop, 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 blop. This probably took the best part of an hour and a half just, just doing this lot here. Uh, that is now completely filled in. Look at it. Even these little broken bits here are navigable. Uh, we've now filled in that, even though it doesn't look like it. I'll, I'll go update the map for that. Uh, and of course, across the top. Um... Nice one, William. I will definitely get hold of you in the next sort of two hours or so. Uh, we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, grab this, grab that, grab this. Okay, we'll we'll just update these four for now. Oh, no, no, no rockets on my bar. Oh, that one. Oh, always more rockets around somewhere. I do prefer flying by Trident if I can. Uh, every trident used is a rocket save. Um, okay. So we're going to fly in this way. I must have not flown close enough to this corner. Yeah, there we go. That's now filled in. Swap, swap hands. Basically just getting rid of all the lava. Yeah, there we go. That that that's that. Good, good, good. And I think with that, oh, let's take my take my hat off. I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this community build adventure. Uh, today we have done oh so much, so much, a lot more than I thought we were gonna do. I would have liked to have started on the grandstand, but it turns out that's gonna have to be a time for another time. And I'll say bye for now. Bye.